Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to be doing this tutorial today as I've recently partnered with Makeup Forever and their Accepted Anywhere campaign. In my partnership with Makeup Forever, I was invited to the Hendrick Martin Institute where I was able to share my knowledge and passion of makeup and also be a part of their arts and culture program, which is serving the underserved LGBT youth of New York. Makeup Forever just launched their artist new cream lipstick and in June, $2 of every sale will be going to HMI, up to $25,000. Accepted Anywhere campaign is all about self-love and self-acceptance. For me, as a human being on this planet, I find it extremely important to be authentic to yourself, no matter what. And sometimes that can be very scary, but the benefit of being true to yourself means that you're going to attract the people that see you. And it's very important in this day and age that we are seen by those that understand us more than anything. I'm ready to now start my makeup tutorial. First, I'm going to be Putting a little base down on my eyelids as a primer. Primarily concentrating the shade under the brow bone and then diffusing it at the lash. All right, now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a brown liner. Blending is so important. The entire makeup is all about blending. It needs to look soft. I want this to be a lip focused look, but in order to build up to a full transformation, every detail must be addressed along the way. I'm gonna pop some light into that open space. Shortly, I'll be having a very special guest come and talk with us about HMI. So get ready for a very handsome and educational expert. I will go back and forth with the same brushes to blend. I'm gonna go right into the hairs. I'm just gonna set it down with a bit of eyeshadow and I have a really beautiful palette here. I'm gonna be using the Let's Gold eyeshadow palette and really focusing on maybe two or three shades out of here to anchor down the eye. Now I'm gonna use the Pro Light Fusion highlighter. I'm gonna press it right over the eyelid. could take your brush and kick back some of the um, frostiness from the highlight. Just gonna wipe this part of my face to place my lift tapes. So you just press it through the hair. I'll be alternating between two shades of the Ultra HD foundation sticks. My perimeter is going to be Y245 and then the center of my face is going to be Y225. All right, now I'm gonna take a moment to introduce you to Greg Jones from HMI. Come on in. Hi. To my world. Hi. Hi, thanks for having Come me. Come scoot over. Gosh. Next to moi. It's such a beautiful station here. Thank you. So I'm here with Mr. <laughs> Greg Jones. Hi. I'm gonna do my makeup while we're talking. Sure, cool. that's great. So it was so great to have you at HMI. Thank you. Um, all of our youth were really excited that you were in our space and Makeup Forever for the second year in a row has been so generous to work with HMI. And this year was uh, the campaign is Own Your Nude. So it's really embracing all of these beautiful different shades of cosmetics and especially this lip shade and embracing that. And even without all of the glitz and glam, you're still beautiful. Being able to see that there is community means that people have a place to come together and also to celebrate one another. Right. That's really important. That dialogue is like a saving grace. Some of the questions that came up for me were like, how did you get to where you're at? I had to be true to myself. And everything about the, the process was like, you can't live your life for other people. You can't waste your energy hoping that people are gonna be down for you. 
when you have to be done for yourself. And I think that's really important for all communities, especially if you are underprivileged and you don't have support from your family, to know that you can be committed to what you love. Your passion will shine. People will see your talent when you yeah. when you love what you do. By the way, I, I know I'm gonna hop back and forth. I just use this little concealing and color correcting palette by Makeup Forever. These are great because you can use this just underneath the eye to brighten up and also to correct discoloration on the face. And also, I'm contouring the face with the contour palette here. It's Pro Sculpting Palette in shade 20. So tell me about HMI's programming. Specifically, um, the program that we're partnering with Makeup Forever and with you on is our arts and culture program. It's youth who are interested in freeform art, music, dance, any form of artistic self-expression. And that's actually housed within our health and wellness program track because most of our young people have come to us and are utilizing artistic expression as forms of addressing trauma in their lives. Yeah. So it's very therapeutic. Being there, I was like, this is not just about the makeup. This was a place of safety for us to come together and be able to create. And these were very much shared stories. Yeah. And this speaks to makeup forever. You know, being a leader in the makeup industry for over 30 years and their message has always been inclusivity and self-expression and loving right. who you are. Also mentioned earlier, before you were here sitting beside me, mm -hmm. uh, about the $2 donations that are coming up in June. Yeah. Throughout the month of June, which is Pride Month, $2 from every purchase of the Makeup Forever Nude Shades, the Artist Nude Cream, will go to HMI. Link below. That's what they do, right? Have you ever done drag? I have never done drag. That would take a little bit of makeup. It would take a, lo a lot of makeup <laughs> and no beard. Right. But I could keep the beard. Maybe yeah, you like can. That's thing. a thing. Yeah. Makeup is something that I've always played with. I remember when I was a really little kid growing up on the farm with my grandparents. We had a drawer in the bathroom that all my aunt's makeup was in, the brushes and everything. I remember when everyone was gone, going into the drawer and finding like a black eyeliner and doing the inside waterline, the whole <laughs> eye in black, and looking in the mirror and feeling beautiful but also feeling like I wasn't allowed to feel that way. And that was something that was tricky for me to kind of process. You'll never get it the way that you think you want to get it. You might want to hear your family say something very specific. Approval, yeah. See me. I'm, I'm in my head, I've yeah. developed this idea of that I'm going to be told this one sentence or this family member is going to say this thing to me and, and then everything is going to be fine. The reality is it doesn't go down like that. And you just develop different ways of coping with it and understanding it and embracing it. Wow, that was amazing. Sorry. Oh yeah, just, <laughs> you're like that. Like, I was like, whoa. Wait, I, I feel like that's like stardust. Pink. Yeah, it's really, really, like really light. You just light. put like galactic powder on your face. I'm about to do more. So I think what I discovered was I found this is a, a nice place for me to express my femininity. In the beginning it was drag and then as I went along I felt more comfortable identifying with gender fluidity mm -hmm. because I live my life as Curtis but I'm working so constantly as Miss Fame and I feel most seen and beautiful when I'm able to feminize myself. But I also feel, because maybe from the generation I'm from, a little bit of residual stagnance of not being able to fully lean in. I think right. if I grew up surrounded by a community like we've talked about, right. that it maybe would have influenced my projection of who I was and how I was seen in the world. Lashes? Do you want me to hold something? No. Yeah, okay. I know, it looks like I'm just, I am all of those things. I have an extra set of hands. Oh, I'm, I can good. Be I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I can talk to you this okay. much. You're gonna put a little liner right in the water line. Just to kind of get rid of the pink from tired. Oh, is that what that's for? Mm -hmm. Just to kind of wake up the eye. Let's get to lip liner. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got it. So where would you wear this look to? At a grocery store. I mean, obviously. All right, now the moment of truth. I'm gonna be using the Artist Nude Cream Lipsticks. They come in 12 shades and they sell for $22. And it's like a melted lipstick, so it's a really nice hydrated liquid lip. Ah, ah, ah. Gorgeous. Pretty, pretty. I mean, that on its own is really pretty. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I like a shiny little finish that. to it. Has it nice... is like a melted lipstick, wow. Take it kind of right to the perimeter. And then the coverage is gorgeous. I love the finish. It just like hugs your lips. I'm gonna take something that's a bit more dramatically dark and I'm 
going to dot it in the corners and then feather it through with a brush. And you have time to play with the product. I'm going to pull that through and define the top lip bow. So it's starting to create a definition, a lot yeah. darker, more dramatic. I'm gonna put some lashes on. You're like, damn, another thing. Are you Never. ever really done with makeup? No, because no. if I had the time, I would take it. Yeah. Forever and ever and ever. Now I'm gonna just put my wig on, but in order to do that, oh yeah, is this too much for you? Nope, it's fine. You're like, <laughs> So I'm just going to do a little Faye Dunaway moment. No wire hangers. Just tucking your hair into the little band. Cause you're gonna do this later and you need to know. Okay, so then we have our little wig cap. I like to use one that's within the same color of like what the scalp would be. So now that I have those face the tapes on, I'm gonna finally utilize them. And that looks like putting on my bungee cord. So it does that. Got it, okay. You know, I'm all that. So it looks crazy on the side of the face. That's fine because it's all hidden inside the wig. It's right. really about the mid face looking tense. Um, we're gonna use a little mist and fix. I wanted to set the makeup and also hydrate it. A lot of the time when I'm using a lot of powders, it feels like it can dry out the skin and I want it to still look like, like skin. Like hydrated. Now I look like a farmer girl with my, <laughs> no, my with like, your, denim with your on. Denim. Well, so I am going to take a moment to put on, you know, the other lady parts and I will be back with that glamour. All right, guys, now we've gotten to the finale. Thank you so much for your time and patience for this transformation. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. I just want to reiterate that Makeup Forever is doing the sale for the Artist Nude Cream lipstick. You can get this at Sephora. And in the month of June, $2 per each sale are going to HMI. To support underserved LGBTQ youth. Gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you.